Today we will be talking about the new Coca-Cola product, Coke Life. We will also talk about their innovative marketing campaign. An innovative product according to the Coca-Cola company. This new and more healthier Coke is the new product of the Coca-Cola family that they are so proudly presenting. With almost 30% less sugar compared to the original, Coca-Cola Life will claim a higher market share and get more consumers to use Coca-Cola products. The taste should be the same even if the sugar is reduced, so how can it taste the same then? Well, this empire has for many years researched and developed different ways to make their product healthier, with the goal to claim a higher market share and also get more customers. The secret behind their innovative product is the plant Stevia. This plant produces an extract that tastes similar to sugar and has been used as a substitute for sugar for people who have diabetes. They wanted to focus the market on healthy people. The company has already launched a few products that contains less sugar compared to the original Coke, like Coca-Cola Light and also Coca-Cola Zero, which made a huge breakthrough worldwide. So does this product count as an innovative product compared to the others beforehand? Absolutely. For Coca-Cola, this counts as a massive breakthrough, a new path to a healthier lifestyle, which means that they have understood that the market is changing. The marketing mix is made up of five components, known as the five P's. Price, promotion, place, people and product. First we'll begin with analyzing the product itself, Coca-Cola Life. The product's labeling is different from the other Coca-Cola products as it has the eye-catching green label with white front. This can be interpreted as a healthier product or environmentally friendly as green is the color that represents a healthy lifestyle. A product that is a healthy version, healthier version of another product, but still tastes the same, is in immense demand in the current market. The labelling for Coca-Cola Life also includes statistics stating the product contains 35% less sugar and kilojoules. The use of statistics allows for more accuracy and reliability of the product, which will gain the customer's trust that the product is better for you, as it includes st statistics stating so. Coke Life is targeted towards consumers of soft drink who want a healthier option, but still want the same taste as the original Coca-Cola, and are not fond of the other products in the Coca-Cola range, such as Diet Coke and or Coke Zero. This broadens the already wide range of target markets of Coca-Cola. With the promotional aspect of Marketing Mix, an advertisement was released that showed Norfolk Island were given an early release of Coca-Cola Life before the rest of the country. This shows that Coca-Cola care for small communities, which helps their reputation to be positive and caring. Another advertisement released for Coca-Cola was from Coles, which showed all their shelves full of Coca-Cola Life, as though it was their only choice for consumers that it was unquestionable to choose any other soft drink product. The product has been placed in the same vending machines, stores and restaurants that already sold the previous Coke products. This could be so all products are kept together or if consumers are wanting to purchase the product they know which places already sell the product. The price for Coca-Cola Life has also been stated in the similar range to other products, however still depending on the size and the retailer of, on the exact price of the product. Next, we're going to look at the, the decision making process. This is normally used by consumers, but it is also an effective way a company can decide whether or not to enter a certain market. As, we're, as we already know, the Coke Life product is the new healthy choice when it comes to the Coca-Cola brand. But how did the Coca-Cola company decide to produce Coke Life? A common 
way decisions are made at marketing is by following the decision making process. The first step to this process is to recognize the problem. MGMT2 states the problem is the gap between one's current state and one's desired state. For, co for the Coca-Cola company, this may have been when they realized that there is a demand for greener and healthier product and that they did not have a product that, that was competitive with other soft drink labels. The next step involves gathering information that allows them to create a healthier product. One method of gathering information is custom market research. Custom market research is data collected to provide answers to specific questions. An example of these questions could have been, is there enough demand out there for the new Coke Life product? The third step is evaluating the alternative soft drink products that offer a healthier choice. Do their competitors control too much of the market for healthier soft drink? Or is Pepsi's new healthier product more innovative? The next step is purchase position. This involves the company selecting the best producers and suppliers to meet their needs. The biggest factor in this stage is price. Can Coca-Cola find more cost-effective ways to supply and produce Coke Life so it can continue to be sold at low prices? The final step is post-purchase evaluation. Here, Coke Life would have chosen a select demographic or geographical area to test their product much like an alpha or beta test. This process is just one of the many ways Coca-Cola could have used to enter the new innovative Coke Life product. Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoyed the presentation.